Good afternoon, everybody. I hope everybody's having a good day. Um, I, I know I've asked to, been asked to do videos in the past, so then I said I was going to do more, so I figured if I was going to tell a story, I, one of the most profound things that's happened to me, uh, I need to put that in video form. Um, but a, a little background, in 2009, the population of the state of Alabama was 4,708,000 708 people. 4 million 708708. There were 322 homicides in the state of Alabama in 2009. So on that day when Stephen was murdered, there were two murders in the state of Alabama. Two. And I knew, I knew that, and just research and checking and doing everything I've done. Um, so, working on everything I'm trying to work on to try and make a difference with folks, I, I spent a lot of time at work. And when, when you work as closely with the guys as you do, they find out things, you know, you talk about things, you bring things up. So, I mean, it's, it's kind of therapeutic. So I had been working with, with one guy, uh, for a while and, uh, we had been talking on and off about different things I was trying to do, trying to accomplish. And I had had a conversation about some things I was trying to do earlier in one of the other trips. And this time, we got to the hotel in Mobile and went to bed. When I woke up, I had some good news. And it was about getting my son's access to my son's case file to go through it and doing everything I wanted to do. And so I was excited whenever we came downstairs getting a ride. And they told me at the front desk they had a new guy that started. And this new guy was their new maintenance man. He was going to take us to the, to the yard office. So we get in the ride and we start talking and I'm, I'm excited. I'm telling, you know, talking to my engineer, telling him what I was going on. And the driver just happened to look at me and he said, you lost your son too? When, I, when you talk about death to people that have experienced death, loss of the child. And when he said, you lost a son too, I knew I needed to tread carefully and, and still, you know, be compassionate. So, I said, man, because he said, uh, I mean, it just happens so fast and you're kind of in shock um, the way all this rolled out. But I, I said, yeah, I said, uh, you know, I lost my son, you know, coming up on 10 years. He said, me too. And he said, yeah, I lost my son. My son was killed at a party. December the 27th, 2000. 2009. It's like lightning run through me. Number one, wow. <laughs> My engineer said it's a few choice words in the back seat because he knew. He knew exactly the day my son was killed and I'm, I'm in shock. And, 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 you know, something like that happens. It's just 4,708,708 people population state of Alabama, two people murdered on the same exact day. And now these two daddies are sitting in the same car taking one of them to work. Now, when people say that things, you know, just happen or, or things, explain that to me. If you don't believe that things happen in life, and yeah, God is in control of so many things, but he also gives us our own free will. And of that free will, you can choose what you want, but you better choose wisely.
because there's going to come a time when when all that has to be paid so own own your mistakes own your actions own your own everything in life cuz in life if you don't if you don't think about the future it's it's going to come to you it's going to come in a way that you you'll never see it coming until you look back and when you look back you will know you'll know beyond a shadow of a doubt i've had so many moments happen coming up to this time when me and michael met and you know this was back in the early you know in the spring and i just run into him again you know talking to him actually sitting and talking about our sons and, and he looked at me and i told him i said hey look this is what i'm doing and he said man he said keep doing it brother keep fighting the fight and uh I, i'll i'll never stop and when it's meant to be it's meant to be you can't fight it and i i've known too many men i've known too many families i've known too many kids that have just been we've lost in vain stupid reasons just just it, 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 irrational reasons so you know i'll wrap this up i know I've, i know i've drug on but please share this if if this story don't don't hit home you know, where we're at in society right now if this doesn't prove that what i'm doing i mean this was this was a straight up slap in my face wake up hello keep doing what you're doing so we can make a difference one person can make a difference. One person made a difference in my life because he pulled a trigger. Because my son was being a friend. My son was a friend caught in the middle of his other friends. And my son was murdered by a friend. Think about it. 